Today we salute you, Mr. Budweiser Head of Marketing Guy. Only you could take a beer and make it queer. Oh, no. 20 years of amazing ad campaigns, and this is where we end up. Not gonna buy it. What the f were you thinking what is going on everybody wired here and i'm back once again with another bud light video it seems like that's all i do lately but this story keeps rolling and i want to keep covering this company's woke failure they just released a new ad as of yesterday and as you can see i wish i could play it for you but i can't it has 5.7 million views that's huge it's more than any of my videos i've ever gotten it's more than a lot of videos in one day 5.7 million views has 103 likes to 5.2k dislikes. So I guess, uh, and comments are, I would read you the comments, they're turned off, unfortunately. But 5.7 million people have viewed this, and 103 people have liked the ad. So hopefully, uh, in that sort of sense, uh, maybe Bud Light has gotten back 103 drinkers or maybe those drinkers have never left but for the majority of us it's too little too late now i'm going to leave a link to this in the description i wish i could play it for you but there's a song playing over it so it's going to be copyrighted so i can't it's kind of just a basic you know back to form type of thing it's a bunch of friends seems like they're at a burning man type thing they're all excited you know they're all uh, there's a couple wet girls which hey that used to be bud light um and they i think they are biological females although i don't want to say that I shouldn't say that, but it looks like they're biological females. Uh, there's one biological male there. Oh, he looks like a biological male. I don't want to make any assumptions. Don't want to make any assumptions. I'm sorry, YouTube overlords. And it's raining. They're having a good time. They're having fun at Burning Man or wherever they're at, drinking Bud Light. And it looks like a good time. Easy to drink. Uh, easy to enjoy. Bud Light. Well, I don't think it was ever easy to drink. Uh, I do think if you had enough of them, it was easy to enjoy. Uh, but I do think at one point Bud Light was on top of their game. They had so many good advertisements. We all remember, you know, the Budweiser Frogs, the Bud Knight, the Real Men of Genius. You know, it just kept going on and on and on. They couldn't miss. And then they did with the whole Lord Voldemort controversy. So, from OutKick here, Bud Light disables comments on latest video in Cowardly Move, and that's how I would describe it as well. Thank you very much, writer uh, Zach Dean. Bud Light doesn't want your feedback on its latest commercial, turning comment section off on the official YouTube page. Well, because no, because they know they're going to get roasted. They know they're absolutely going to get demolished by conservatives, by moderates, by sensible leftists, by anybody who still has any sense. And, you know, I got to really say, it's, it's a tough spot for Bud Light. Uh, as Eric Cartman would say, uh, what do I do? Should I admit I made a mistake? What do I do? And that's where they're at right now. They're between a rock and a hard place. If they renounce their ad campaign with Lord Voldemort, they have to worry about offending the left. If they stay silent, they're going to keep offending the right. Probably their best tactic at this point is, you know, and if they try to autocorrect like this, they're going to get roasted by moderates and conservatives, libertarians, anyone with any common sense. I do not envy being in Bud Light's position right now. Uh, that's right. The new commercial, which debuted during Thursday's NFL draft, and has since been torched for its obvious pandering, has been viewed nearly 5 million times on YouTube, but nobody can give their feedback. Can't imagine why. And honestly, uh, go watch the commercial. I don't think it was very bad. Honestly, it's a fine commercial. It's just... Yes, that's the problem. It is pandering right now. Everybody knows where their loyalties lie. They're not addressing the issue at hand, which is address the Lord Voldemort situation. Why are you supporting dark wizards? Why are you throwing everybody else under the bus? What about Gryffindor, Hufflepuffs, you know, Ravenclaw, even some Slytherins? But no, support the dark wizards, of course. Classic gutless move here by Bud Light and Anders Bush. Regular folks like you and me, Okay, you know the ones who actually drink domestic beer. I do know the ones you're talking about. Saw right through this bad boy the second it graced our TVs. It's a stark 180 move from the Lord Voldemort fiasco, which is fine. I wrote about it yesterday and I stand by what I said. You want to move the goalpost back to the right? 
to your base and put a bunch of cowgirls on screen in the rain, fine by me. Smart, actually. I uh, 100% agree. But don't you dare play Zach Brown's chicken fried in the background and think you're going to get away with it. Nope, not on my watch. Oh, that's, that's the reason I can't uh, show you the... Show the video, guys, because of uh, Zach Brown's chicken fried. Which I, yeah, this song's decent, I think. It's fine. I'm not from the South, though, so. Oh, here we go. That's a sacred song of the South, and we ain't buying what you're selling. Not yet, anyways. The above commercial debuted Thursday, and everyone and their mother noticed. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, we got some tweets here from the fantastic Mr. Socks. Bud Light sh just showed a commercial with country music during the NFL draft. Uh, you know laughing watching NFL draft and couldn't help but notice that Bud Light commercial seemed very different from the previous ad campaign uh from Josh Cummins definitely so I'm watching the NFL draft and a Bud Light commercial comes on they went out of their way to outcast the south a working man in women's beer they had the balls to play Zach Brown during the commercial so consensus for this all is uh not great but hey the least Bud Light could do was keep the old comment section open for business to really get a sense of how their latest marketing ploy worked, right? Well, as we already went over, that didn't happen. Uh, obviously, they turned that bad boy off so fast your head would spin. They probably just started it from the video, but yeah, obviously. So yeah, this was intentional. 180 degree shift in the marketing was also intentional. Earlier this week, reports are that executives over Lord Voldemort and Av were shooting off memos right and left about an upcoming marketing blitz, which I already covered, in the wake of the Voldemort disaster. Uh, bottom line, buckle up for a lot more pandering in the coming months as the sinking beer chain attempts to win our hearts back one country song at a time. And yeah, this is very tragic for Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch. I've actually read some reports. I know they're down at least 17%. I've read some reports that say they might be down as much as 40, for 50, 40 or 50%, which I don't really believe. That's very, very high. I'm not saying it's not possible, but uh, I know 70% for sure. They're at least 17% down. And this boycott rolls on as we are two days away from hitting into May. That will be a month their sales are down. That's, you know, last I checked, they were down like $11 billion in stock options or something like that. They're coming back a little bit, but it's nothing to write home about. And the people who are behind this have been placed on administrative leave. Or they've taken a leave of absence, because I'm sure that was their choice. This boycott's definitely working. And honestly, at this point, I don't know what Bud Light can do. What can I do? You're, you're between a rock and a hard place. You're screwed. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. And you brought it on yourself. You deserve your failure. Anyway, that's all I got. Please, if you haven't, uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. Comment down in the comment section with what you're drinking instead of Bud Light. Because I'm sure, or I hope you're not drinking Bud Light anyway. And if it is, um, you know, how you feel about that exactly. That's all I got for you right now. I, uh, it's Saturday night. I am actually going to go drink. But I will talk to you guys all in the next one. Later.